two, one, power up. The autonomous period has begun, and the Blue Alliance Girls of Steel heading out, taking possession of the Blue Alliance's switch. Red Alliance strikes right back with Team 4028 taking possession of the scale and the switch with the help of Amp Robotics. It is neck and neck coming out of the autonomous period. Red Alliance has the advantage with possession of the scale and the switch as the Red Alliance pulls ahead. For as long as the Red Alliance has both the scale and the switch, they're getting an extra point per second. Blue Alliance trying to even the scales on the scale by adding a cube, but here comes 4028 piling another one on. Another power cube from 3504 on the scale, but they're neck and neck with 4028. Red Alliance still has the advantage on the scale. Here comes Girls of Steel, three cubes on the scale for the Blue Alliance. Red Alliance playing some defense, trying to have the Blue Alliance lose possession of their switch. Girls of Steel aren't gonna let that happen. They pile on another cube onto their switch. Red Alliance 1787 still trying to make Blue Alliance lose possession. 1708 is buying some insurance on the Red Alliance switch as we have just a minute left to play. Red Alliance have activated the Levitate bonus. That'll help them in endgame. Blue Alliance activate the Levitate bonus. That'll get a free lift for each Alliance entering into endgame. Red Alliance still with an advantage. They're still holding their switch and the scale. Blue Alliance only has their switch. Blue Alliance has three power cubes in the force power up. As we enter into endgame, Blue Alliance still hasn't used their force power up and we're getting ready for a climb. Red Alliance, two bots have climbed. Blue Alliance's force power up kick in. They're closing the gap. And here come the results. It's the Red Alliance. Red Alliance, 408. Blue Alliance, 2, 130.